Hi and welcome to my Hawks Goggles tutorial. I'll be showing you how to make these lovely Hawks Goggles. You will need clear warbler, a tray for the dye, and then of course your dyes, which I'm using Rit Synthetic Dye. The important thing is the synthetic part. That is because warbler will not dye with fabric dye, it has to be synthetic because warbler is a thermoplastic. As you can see here, I've already cut out the shape that I'm going to use for the goggles. It's pretty pretty self-explanatory, you just look at a reference image and go, yes, that will do, and then test it on paper first, and then cut it out and put it on your face. After that, we are boiling the kettle. If you don't have one, boil water in a pot like a heathen. Make sure that you scrub the warbler clean with some cold water first, just to make sure there's no residue on there that will pick up and absorb the dye stronger in different spots. Cold water just because hot water makes it flexible. Once the water has boiled, pour it into your tray. I don't know how much you need, I was just kind of eyeballing it and I was sort of like, that'll cover it, you know, that's good enough, that'll do, and then stick it in. I was just kind of experimenting here, so I added the yellow dye first because his goggles are kind of a yellowy orange, so then I went and I mixed in some of the orange dye as well, but I know for a fact that I added too much, so I added some more yellow hoping it would counteract it. There was far too much dye in here, I didn't need that much, so I'm just going to mix it all up together, but you get the gist. And then we're going to take our goggles and we're just going to place them in. I recommend wearing gloves so you don't get any on your fingers. We're going to make sure we keep moving that water about around and just keep it activating. I left it under for five minutes and then I'm going to take it out. The longer you leave it, the stronger your colour will be. Now I'm going to rinse it in some cold water just to get off any excess and see what the final colour is. Mine probably took to the dye really well because I used far too much dye and I did not need that much, but hey, you live and you learn. Make sure the sink you're using is stainless steel as well because you don't want to dye your sink that colour. And as you can see, my warbler has been dyed. And then carefully, and I mean carefully, because this is what happened when I was doing the manga version, yeah, pour the dye water down the sink and give all your stuff a quick win wince, a quick rinse and a wash to get all the residue off and make the sink less toxic if you're going to be doing your washing up in it, which, you know, I don't recommend. Give it a good scrub and a bleach, make sure the water runs clean. So now we have the basic goggle shape done. Yes, I'm wearing pyjamas underneath a jumper. It's cold and I can't afford to put the heating on. The next thing we're going to do and the final thing we're going to do is use our handy heat gun to shape it. And I recommend not doing this on the carpet because you will burn the carpet like I do multiple times. And that's what a lot of the black marks are on uh, my carpet is just all where I've burnt it. So yeah, I have not lived and learnt. When you heat up Warbler, it becomes pliable, and once it cools, it will stay in the position you've put it in. So I'm going to heat up the middle section where the bridge of the nose is, and I always bend it like this, like your actual glasses, because it helps it not dig in, basically. And if you make a mistake, just heat it up and redo it. And look at that black bit, I did burn the carpet there too. Next I'm going to do the side bits so that it bends around my face. Once I've heated this up, I tend to just hold it on my face how I want it to sit and wait for it to cool down. Be careful not to burn yourself. One of the things that I really like about Warbler is even after you've dyed it and messed around with it, you can just reheat it and try it again, or even recut it. Just remember, you can always take off, you can't put on. After finishing this pair, it was really obvious to me in the ring light that I'd used too much orange, so I decided to go back in and make another pair with my leftover Warbler. So I sold the orange pair and I made a yellow pair, you know, making the most of it much better. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram, other socials, blah 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 blah. Thank you for watching, and comment if you liked it. Bye!